What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to adjust the dead zone settings of your Hori Overdrive racing wheel for Xbox Series XS and for Windows 11 and 10 PC. So I'm on my computer right here. Um, it's plugged into my gaming computer. You can see the pedals down there and there's my computer. So this is going to require the Windows app. And how do we get the Windows app? We got to go to the Microsoft Store. So I will actually make a cut in the video eventually of me doing this all from OBS on my screen. But for now, I want to show you the wheel too while this is going on, because you can see as I turn the wheel, the dead zone is picking up me turning it now. So I have to turn it less and there's a smaller dead zone. And before I go into that as well, what is dead zone? Dead zone is the amount you have to turn your wheel for to pick it up that you're turning. So if you have a small dead zone, that means like it'll only not pick you up turning the wheel like this much. If you have a big dead zone, maybe it'll be this much. So like you'll have to turn all the way over here until it starts recognizing that you're turning your wheel. And I don't really see the benefit to having a big dead zone. I always want to make it smaller. So we can do that with the Hori Device Manager for Xbox Series XS application. So that's what this is for, for this wheel here. So let's go look for that on the Windows Store. So first things first, we hit the Windows key, open up the Start menu. And again, I will record myself doing this from OBS as well. But we're gonna go for, to the Microsoft Store in case if you can't see me recording it from my camera. So then we're gonna search Hori app. And it'll actually be this one. It only has 2.2 stars, but this is the one that you want for Xbox Series X and S. Um, this is also for PC wheels. Like this wheel is also for PC, even though it's for Xbox as well, because PC and Xbox are both Microsoft. You know, Microsoft makes Windows 11 and 10, so they make their things compatible usually, especially this product, which is licensed by Microsoft. It's definitely gonna be PC compatible. So anyways, you just, uh, you go install, you click on this. I already have it installed, so it says open for me, but you click on install, then you open, and then make sure your wheel is plugged in with the USB port in your computer, with the USB cable, and then you can go down to steering settings. So by default, you're gonna see some profile. It's gonna look like this. Um, and then you're gonna wanna go down to steering settings. So once you're on steering settings, we'll be able to see the dead zone settings. I have it actually set to negative two, so my dead zone is smaller. That's how you can shrink it if you want. You can even make it negative three to make it tiny, but let's just change this to zero right now, and I'll show you what is going on with the wheel and the dead zone settings. So we're on zero. You can see I have a bigger dead zone now. Like I'm turning, it's still, it's actually still pretty small. Let me turn it up. Dead zone is pretty good on this wheel. Let's turn it up to three. Yeah, there we go. I turned it a bunch there, didn't pick up anything. Look, 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 I'm turning. Now it's picking it up. Same for the left side. Turning, turning, now it's picking it up. So that's quite a bit, but it's still not a huge dead zone and you can adjust it. So I'll put it back to what I had it before. Put it back to negative two. All right, and now you'll see, I barely have to touch it and it's picking up that I'm turning the wheel. So I can make minor adjustments on the track and yeah, you know, just don't have to turn the wheel a bunch for it to start picking it up. Cause in the car, if you turn the wheel a little bit, your wheels turn. So I don't get the whole point in this dead zone thing. But if you guys do get it, you know, let me know. Anyways, I'm gonna make a jump cut now to me doing this in OBS. All right, I'm recording from OBS now. I'm actually recording from my screen here and we'll do this whole Hori downloading the app thing and getting the dead zone settings working. So like I said before, hit the Windows key to open up the start menu and then start searching Microsoft Store. So I already have it searched, but just start typing Microsoft and eventually Microsoft Store will pop up. So we can see here, I already have Hori app searched, but if you just are at the home, you're gonna see something that looks like this. You know, you can buy games, you can get apps, whatever. So just type in Hori app, H-O-R-I space A-P-P. -P, and then you're gonna wanna pick this one that says 
or a device manager for Xbox Series X, Series S. So both Xbox types and the steering wheel for PC along with Xbox. So this is like not just controllers, it's also for the steering wheel, even though there's a picture of a controller here. Um, this is for force feedback wheels. So this one's actually not gonna work for the overdrive wheel. I tried this myself. This is misleading, it's not gonna work. So get this one, the 2.2 stars one that has the red and the white with the blue background. Um, and then we can just click open after we have it installed. So it's gonna create a profile for you. Again, you're gonna have button mapping and then steering settings. And now we can adjust the dead zone. So you can see right here what I was showing you before. You can see I'm turning the wheel. Well, you can't see me turning the wheel now because I'm recording from my screen, but you know, we just drag this to whatever we want it to be and the dead zone will adjust for the wheel. So that is pretty much it guys. You don't have to click save or anything. Like once you have it to what you want, you can just close the app. Again, you can close that too. And then you can just use it in game. But keep in mind, these games that you play, for example, this is Forza Motorsport. Um, if you go to gameplay, no, actually, if you go to advanced controller there's dead zone settings in these racing games usually as well so keep that in mind it's not just going to be done through the application on windows for the hori steering wheel it's also going to be set in game so make sure you tweak them both and then truly see if you like the wheel or not or whatever wheel you're using in general you're going to need to do these in-game settings regardless so keep that in mind but that's pretty much it guys hopefully you found this video helpful if you did drop a like don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching